Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half. So this level is by Flan. I don't think we've seen Flan at all yet in this game. Maybe a long time ago. I certainly don't remember the name. There's a movie and resets, so this is definitely going to be something complicated. <laughs> um, there's only two paths left to go on. There's this path through the snowy area and the path in the beach area. One of advice, you may not need to use this roadblock to acquire the secret exit. Might, huh? I mean, uh, I'm sure I could do it with the roadblock, let's be honest here. I'm assuming the roadblock just, uh... Oh, okay, I have to get a new roadblock every now and then. Well. Oh cool, so this entire level is not going to cost lives, which is good because it seems like it's going to be pretty hard. Okay, well I saved the throw block through that. Oh right, I have my spin jump power up so I shouldn't have jumped into the hole there. Is this expecting me to have the spin jump power up by now? Because that would be really hard to do without it. That ceiling there doesn't, uh, whoa, okay, well, I lost it. The ceiling there doesn't help much, throwing it up and then catching it again. Alright, this level is definitely going to be a tough one, from what I'm seeing so far. I should wait just a little bit longer before grabbing the throw block. Yeah, because otherwise that's going to happen. It's going to disappear just a little bit too soon. Doesn't seem like there's any dragon coins to worry about, but... Dang it. Coins are telling me when to drop. That works out nicely. This is throw block number three. Hey, a mushroom. Thank you. <laughs> ah, rats. Very. I was very close to that. At least I might still get the normal exit, I don't know. And this goes on for quite a while. Dang it. Oh, I forgot about my power-up that allows me to bounce on Chucks normally. That's why I was expecting him that to shove me outwards and it didn't, so... I just had this, like, lukewarm jump. No, I should have normal jumped. That's gonna be hard to avoid with the block. Is the block a key? Also, I just lost my normal exit because uh, that Koopa bounced me upwards. That kinda sucks. Well, this time I've got fire, so let's shower them in that and watch them all die. Alright, so this, the normal exit wasn't really that bad, but I know that the secret exit is going to be tough. I guess the last one's going to be a key. 
rather than a throw block. Factors of necessity. Well, I'm probably not going there for a while yet. I am really glad I did not one more level this because this one's gonna take a while still, I think. Rats, I missed. Wait. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should just ignore those saws. That one's hard to throw in there. There's my key. Alright, this should be easy to hold than a throw block. Which is good because these chucks would otherwise be a serious pain. But now I can just do the same thing I was doing before. Now let's hope I don't mess up the Koopas this time. There we go. Oh man, that was a nice level to complete. <laughs> it was hard to figure out how to commentate on that because... It just requires so much focus. Mountain of Frugality. Since this isn't the way to the castle, I'm assuming this is the way to whatever bonus I'm going to find. Maybe it's just gonna hook up to that level over there, I don't know. By Lazy. I'm assuming there's gonna be an element of avoiding coins in here or something like that. Oh yeah, I see the coin right there. <laughs> They're attacking. I don't know how this is going to work, whether a single coin is going to kill me. Okay, well, definitely not that. Maybe... There's no secret exit to this level, which is what I would have thought. Like, the coins... Avoiding the coins nets me a secret exit or something, but... Since there's no secret exit, that seems unlikely. <laughs> Alright, so... Either that or it's the opposite, and I need to collect a ton of coins. But frugality doesn't imply that. Oh, I have to go in here. Oh, he's getting coins for me that way. Let's not have that happen. Well, I can burn him. Whoops, I hit that. Um, so how am I supposed to avoid the coins over here? I guess I'm not supposed to. Well, oh, maybe if I uh, gain a life, I die. Coins are bad, avoid them as much as possible. Kinda got that. Remember, feeding Yoshi is a source of income, too. You need less than 30 coins to pass this gate. If you get stuck, exit stage left. Doing so resets your coin counter. Oh, okay. I get it now, so we're using these blocks to get in my way. I need to be able to throw the Yoshi at the block. Now let's try to do a bit better this time. Dang it. Well, I'm gonna just scout for a power-up and then probably jump down the hole. No, none of these give me any bonus. Hey, there's a 1-up over here. <laughs> Doesn't would have actually helped if I had jumped just a little bit farther. Oh, I've got to go past it so that the coins despawn and then go the other way. Oh, I can't scroll the screen either. Dang it. I probably don't have much leeway here. 
Alright, let's get out of here before Yoshi starts eating fish. Dang it, he ate one. It's kind of clever how I have to... I'm forced to fry these enemies, but avoid their coins afterwards. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to avoid any of those. And that gives me an extra five. So I think I can't collect a single one, because I think I only collected two by mistake. Time. Dang it, how am I supposed to get in here fast enough? Oh, I think I have to fry all the fish. I don't think I can make it in time, so I think that's the goal. My power will definitely help with that. Alright, I'm just gonna jump down the hole since it's a bit faster than <laughs> trying to go through the level. Alright, that does it. Now if I can just pull off what I did before and avoid coin the coins from these guys, I should be set. Let's try to fry these guys in about the same place. There we go, perfect. And now I get all the coins here, but that's no problem. 25, and now we're at 29. Bop that block. Now I'm at the awful 30, but it doesn't matter now. I wonder how many of these areas I'm going to have to go through, because that was pretty short, but it was also pretty tough. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I guess I've got to leave the level to reset the coin counter. And now I can go back in, and everything has changed. Okay, so this is very different so far. Same trappings, but... Oh wow, so we're just not even going to the place I was at before. Well, I've already learned how to deal with these guys. Let's not collect any of these, obviously. I'm assuming that I can collect those to the platform. Oh no, they just jump up now. Okay. Well, I've got to press the button a little bit closer so that I can actually get up there. Yeah, this doesn't matter. We're seeing some of these dice signs again from World Pieces level. But we already learned the mechanics of how these work, so... Let's... Don't hit any of those. Okay, I've got to put all four in one place, is the idea. There we go. Unless there's suddenly leeway, which seems unlikely. One and four. So what do I start with? Okay, I gotta get the one out of there. And then once that has is starting to go down the hole, I hit the four to get that one out of there. Okay, I've pretty much got this room figured out. But obviously that's not going to be good enough. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Well, this isn't gonna work. See ya! Looks like 
Now we wait for those coins to run away far enough that I don't turn this coin back into myself. Enter the door, which is trickier than it should be in this game. Looks like I'm good. So, I wonder what's gonna happen this time. Are these different notes? No. So this is pretty much the same room, but there's gotta be some difference. Probably just... No, that doesn't make sense. So I hope it's over now, but maybe it's not. Okay, now we're doing a real midpoint. Oh, well, that's weird. It only lets me grab the mushroom. Okay, so it only lets me grab the mushroom, well, in theory. I wonder if I could actually cheese this, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't really matter much anyway. Okay. So do I have to kill both of these? Let's look. Let's go down. Okay. They both gotta be in about the same place. Let's see what else is coming up. Okay, I immediately need the mushroom, so I can't really see anything else, apparently. Ugh, it went under one. There we go, got your boat. Now let's see what's coming up. Are we gonna have another similar obstacle, or...? What's the point of the signs here? Why would I exit the level now? I'm assuming I'm supposed to go up the pipe. Switching in four, three, what? Switching what? Oh, okay. One, zero. Alright, let's just kill the rocks. Good enough. See you, Yoshi. What am I supposed to do here? Okay, just don't be dumb. Oh, dang it. I didn't realize those guys would actually push me there. I guess I should have thought that through because there's no other reason for them to be there. Okay, so I have to hit the P-switch and knock the silver coin up and then start dodging it. Sounds good. I got most of those rooms first try. I don't even know what the first room was, I just happened to solve it, <laughs> to be honest. Yoshi, stop! Stop grabbing all the coins! Please. Alright, this is where I messed up last time. Let's just keep jumping. I don't think this is very hard. See ya! Alright, now for this one. Oh no, I completely misread this. I thought the bridge was a semi-solid. I can't even kill myself in here, so we actually have to wait this out. So, maximize my time, and then send it right. Might be going a bit too fast here. 3, 2, 1, 0, goodbye. <laughs> wow, that was that felt pretty close. But it wasn't really all that tight. Similar to the other ones, but... So this has pretty much got to be the end of the level. Oh no, I collected extra coins! It's terrible! I also get moons, which is great. And I guess that might be my only reward for coming here. I guess I could check, but what's the point? Yeah, I mean, I'm s- Oh, nope. 
this is different now. Oh yeah, the one-up moons can also... Thank goodness I went bothered to go back and check, because I thought this was over. <laughs> Well, I couldn't have avoided any of those, so... Oh, well, dang it. <laughs> Open it up now. Let's get used to this timing, because this is going to be pretty tricky, I think. I'm not sure what I was supposed to do there. Oh, I was supposed to throw that... the red Koopa shell up into that. Which means I probably was supposed to dispose of the green one earlier. Oh, we gotta collect all the lives. <laughs> well, this is gonna be... I'm gonna have a lot of lives after this level, presumably. Still not at 30, but yeah, he eats his customary for... Om nom nom. Alright, so we gotta wait for them to jump, presumably, and then just run. Alright, I did not get a coin, so we're good. Didn't get a coin, so we're good. Oh, I've got to kill both of the fish with this shell. Ugh, I missed. Well, that's the end of that. Or... Oh wow, for a second I thought I got away with it for some reason, but... I messed that one up too. This one's pretty easy. Learning, getting just a little bit closer, and then there's nothing else. I'm fishing daily even helps, to be honest. I'm not even sure it helps at all. Okay, so what's the timing on this one? Maybe I just have to hit the fish when they're going down? Yeah, that worked. It's more intuitive to hit them when they're going up, but that's not right. Alright, so now we want to put it in the middle. Okay, we're good. Just don't move left or right. Plop, you're dead. Now let's just not mess up the easy one and we're good. Woo. I'm definitely curious to see what happens when I complete this part. I just don't know what I'm going to be unlocking at all. Oh hey, here's my goal. And <laughs> I get to go around in a circle, which is kind of funny. Am I just going to go in? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm just bashing Yoshi. Animal cruelty, why not? Let's just kick Yoshi out the door one more time for good measure. I get another level. And it looks like a very Raokao style level, apparently. And it is, in fact, created by Raokao. Oh man, is this going to be a serious thing, I wonder? <laughs> well, this is definitely reminiscent of the original so far. At least this is the easy part. Hopefully we don't have to do the hard part, because the hard part is really hard. <laughs> we have AESMT style uh, mushrooms here. That was already kind of a thing. Whoa, okay. I guess I wasn't supposed to wait around that long, maybe? That didn't work. Oh! Well, now I'm somewhere completely different. I assumed I was actually supposed to go back, not into the hole. But, good thing I happened to end up in the hole anyway. Alright. Even though we're in a separate, different area that's presumably themed after a level that was originally complete nonsense and obscenely difficult to complete, I... It's good to see that now that we've made it this far, that it's still reasonable difficulty. And also a pretty fun level, too. It's been relatively straightforward compared to that last level, but... The straightforward levels are really fun. Good enough. He's very close to hitting that guy, even if he was invisible. Hello, skeleton guy. I've now hit two of the dragon coins. Um, how do I want to play this? 
not like that apparently. Uh, well, I just lured them straight into my face and also forgot that those are platforms you fall through. Oh, well, that works. Forget trying to spin jump off the saw, that seemed- Ah, oh, I forgot again. These platforms just look so solid though. There we go. It almost felt like there was a door there for some reason. That would be a very Super Mario Bros. 3 thing to do, but not a very Raukau thing to do. Okay, flame guys. Uh, that timing is pretty darn bad. Oh, it's a big boo. Thankfully, not the super creepy A2XT big boo. Oh, wait, what? Why was he still onto me there? I'm not sure if something weird happened or if this boo uh, goes all directions. Okay, yeah, I guess the big boo was just Super Mario World being jank. Let's just spin jump over him this time instead of being weird. Alright, I guess I can just drop straight down once the opening appears. And then wait for the second opening, and then we're probably out of this section. Ah, oh, no, there was no wall there! <laughs> well, that sucks. theme. I love this song. So far this level hasn't been too hard. It's mostly just been me misinterpreting the visuals or having some classic Super Mario World jank. Speaking of which, uh, can I just run over this? I feel like I probably can't, but yeah, I'm gonna die if I go down there. I guarantee you I'll die. Also, I'll miss the dragon coin, which is a definite no-no. wait for this guy to do go another cycle I wasn't really prepared for what to do next All right there's a chart no <laughs> man the jump one half hasn't had a problem with these sorts of visuals that look like they're solved but they're not but that, this level does because it's themed after a different game that did have those problems I assume either that or the visuals were just used differently here. I'm not waiting around for that guy, see ya. Whoops, forgot about the guy in the pipe. Also, the other- that guy despawned earlier, which didn't help. It makes it look even more like you're supposed to just jump on the ropes. Oh, I'm kinda glad he kept falling when I, I grabbed the power up, because that made him move out of my way. So, I guess this guy is just meant to be an obstacle. If I go that way, I'm just going back, and it's also probably really hard, so let's not do that. Okay, I can fry him like that. That's good. You definitely couldn't do that in the original version of this level. <laughs> See ya. Ah, I forget every single time. <laughs> That's just duck. See ya. Alright, so now I need to hold the jump button. 
Oh, I thought the water would slow me down, but it didn't. So I went a little bit earlier than I did before. Go up the right side this time because the spines are nowhere near the right side. This fire flower is definitely helpful, so let's grab it. So yeah. Oh, let me guess. It's why am I trying to bounce on a disco? I can go around and just go straight to the coin. <laughs> That's a lot easier. It makes a pretty big difference, you know. See ya. Okay, I'm not supposed to go there. I'm supposed to go through these ropes. Is this a... Uh, oh, feathers. Oh, I should grab them both. If it's giving me two, there's a reason. Alright, so how do I get through here? Like that. Let's just run off the platform and start holding the button. There we go. What's through here? Another dragon coin, I hope. What is this? Background, okay. Isn't this like, themed after the first level? I think I recall this being like the first level. Wow, I somehow missed them both. That's actually pretty impressive if I was actually trying to do that. I, well, I could be going up there later? I feel like I very well could be. Let's grab this. Oh, there's stuff down here too. There's a blue shell on a that. I don't know what that means. Okay, that was pretty lucky. <laughs> whoa, 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 don't kill me with that. Oh, there's a fishing fish boo up there. That's not good. Dragon coin might be over there though. But it really scares me trying to get up there with this spring. No! Okay, that didn't matter. <laughs> Thank goodness for my cave. Yeah, I can't even really see him in any of the places where I'd want to jump up there. There's the dragon coin though. I guess I can just tank a hit like that. And just bounce on him, I suppose. It's not really hard to bounce on this guy, so... Yeah, which I suppose is why he goes away there. There's my last dragon coin. Nice. Now if I die, I at least don't have to tank a hit to get that other one again. Jumping off the right is definitely going to kill me. This isn't Super Mario Maker. <laughs> Hello, ominous pipe. But to shoot me at a cannon? Or... Oh, okay, I had to push the button. Now we're flying. Oh, hey, cool! I get to move left and right and... Oh, avoid all the one-ups, apparently. Oh, boy. So, World 7 is Beach World. And I got there from a secret path. And then World 8 is Space World, and I got here from a secret path. So where does the castle lead? Is that supposed to lead to the normal final world? Is one of these the post-game? Are both of them the post-game? I am very confused right now. Milky Way Base. Got another one of these, hopefully with a whole bunch of cool stuff, and maybe another puzzle where I have to get myself hurt somehow. Oh, this is a lot like the one from the first jump. We've got power-ups. Okay, they're in those boxes apparently. This is a fairly slow power up getting room. What's in here? Yoshis? Oh, hey, we can color a Yoshi a little bit more expediently here. <laughs> and hopefully without extremely difficult glitch puzzles. I think I've seen everything to see here. This is my life farm. 
It's rocks. I found rocks. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I've seen better life. No, I don't think I... This is a pretty decent life farm, especially for without fast forward. I feel like it's just kind of random. It's just like, rocks fall, everybody lives. Here's our power-up room. Really curious to see what's in here. This is a list of the architects who designed the rooms in RNG. Oh, is this going to be some the bonus world? Each will be shown when you're in front of a door. We've got loads of dragon coins, so we can easily grab that. This rosary gives one second to revive after dying by pressing L and R. It only has one use per life and won't work if you are insta-killed. That's really, really powerful. As long as I actually remember to use it, which I, I, I won't, I guarantee you. And also, my L and R are strange buttons, because I use my R as a spin jump button, so... That's gonna make it a bit awkward. Invisi costume. Being invisible is perfect if you want a challenge, or if you're just so shy you don't want to be seen. Wow. This is... not useful. <laughs> And here I thought, uh, Super Mario Bros. 1 Mario had a jank hitbox. <laughs> this takes it to a whole new level. At least I'm on Yoshi right now, so I don't need to leave necessarily. Well, I probably have to get, him off, get off him because I need to go back through those pipes. Hmm, looks like there's actually no puzzle here. Unless it's like the other one where... The puzzle just isn't obvious. Time to not play as Invisible Mario. We are now normal, not Invisible Mario. Anyways, I think that's where I'll leave it to for today. See you next time.